The following is a video series reviewing the top 20 most common bird species found in St. Joseph and Elkhart counties of Indiana. The data was gathered from eBird.org, a website used to record bird sightings and observations. The report covers the past 10 years, 2010 to 2020, of observations in St. Joseph and Elkhart counties. It represents the most commonly reported, not necessarily the most abundant. This methodology helps to standardize the data between birds that travel in large groups and those that are more solitary. Coming in at number 20 is the common grackle, or the Quiscalus quiscale. The common grackle is part of the family Icteridae, which includes blackbirds and orioles. The common grackle is a medium-sized blackbird with pretty iridescent bluish-purple feathers centrally located on their head and around their neck. They have black bills and black legs and yellow beady eyes. Their body shape appears longer than other blackbirds, partially because of that long tail of theirs. They are about 11 to 14 inches in length, a bit larger than a robin, and the sexes are very similar. However, the males typically have a longer tail and the females sometimes have less bluish iridescence. Here they are pictured. As you can see, in certain lights, the bluish purple iridescent feathers can really shine. Their tails are quite long and their large black beaks are somewhat downturned at the end. Common grackles are found in several types of habitats. You can typically find them in open forests and forest edges. They can also commonly be seen in agricultural fields. They're fairly tolerant to human activity though too, and for this reason, you can find them often in golf courses, parks, or near other urban areas. The common grackle is a very social bird, typically in large flocks. They feed on the ground, but will also spend time in trees. They are quite vocal and be considered a bit of a nuisance when roosting at night in large groups. Speaking of noise, the common grackle has an unrhythmic, squeaky, metallic, sometimes screechy call. The picture here shows what they sometimes look like when they make noise. Their body sort of puffs up and some of the feathers on their sides stick out. Let's take a listen. Here is a map of the distribution of common grackles. The map shows that the common grackle is a year-round resident to our region, but their numbers do dwindle around here in the winter months when most of them migrate to the southeastern United States. The common grackle is omnivorous, meaning that they eat both plants and meat. They generally eat a lot of seeds, and here in the Midwest they consume an awful lot of corn. Since they are not very picky eaters, common grackles do visit feeders. However, some people are not happy when they find their feeders. They can be aggressive to other birds and a small flock of them can very quickly wipe out your feeders, consuming all their food. Their large size makes it difficult for them to eat from small feeders. So if you would like to attract this bird, a platform feeder will work or you can spread seeds out on the ground. The common grackle's average clutch size is one to seven eggs. They make a large cupped shaped nest out of wood, leaves, grasses, and various human made materials. Their nests are commonly located high up in conifers, but other structures for nests have been recorded too. Of course, this is not a bird that is in major trouble here in Indiana, but let's take a look at its worldwide status. Although widespread agricultural land use production has had a massive net positive impact on the common grackle's population, they were considered near threatened by the IUCN Red List in 2018. The main threat common grackles face is large scale hunting. As previously mentioned, the common grackle can sometimes be considered a nuisance bird 
or a pest to landowners. They not only decimate corn crops, but their long-term roosting sites have been linked to a fungus called Histoplasma capsulatum, which can cause histoplasmosis in humans. For this reason, farmers and landowners resort to the use of lethal chemical surfactant repellents to control their population. And what about the common grackle's vulnerability to climate change? Remember, climate change is the term used to refer to the Earth's average increase in global temperatures in the last 50 years due to human activity. The temperatures rising just slightly, think only a few degrees, can have a massive impact on birds. In 2019, National Audubon Society released their publication of the Survival by Degrees 389 Birds at Risk, which focused on bird species' risk of extinction due to climate change. Their report found that for northern Indiana, the common grackle is considered to be at a low risk of extinction due to climate change. There are many species that are commonly confused with common grackles. Here are the ones most commonly confused for in our region of the world. Common grackles can be commonly confused for American crows. American crows are also very common here in Indiana. There are some key differences between the two species. The American crow does not have the purplish blue iridescence like the common grackle does. The American crow doesn't have yellow beady eyes like the common grackle either. Finally, the American crow are just overall larger birds. Common grackles are 11 to 14 inches in length, and the American crow is 16 to 21 inches in length. Common grackles can be commonly confused for European starlings, one of the invasive birds of the United States. There are some key differences to look out for between these two species. Instead of a black bill, black legs, and yellow beady eyes, the European starling has the opposite, that is, orangish legs, yellowish bill, and black eyes. They both tend to have an iridescence, but the European starling has light speckled spots on its feathers, whereas the common grackle does not. Finally, European starlings are smaller than common grackles, about 8 to 9 inches in length. Common grackles can be confused for another blackbird found in Indiana, that is the red-winged blackbird. The best way to tell them apart is to look for the red patches on the wings of the red-winged blackbird. You can also use size to tell them apart because red-winged blackbirds are smaller than common grackles with a length of only 6 to 9 inches. Now we will look at two other bird species that the common grackle could be confused for here in Indiana. These last two species are less common than the others we just discussed. The first is the Brewer's Blackbird. As you can see in this photo, Brewer's Blackbirds are also black all over with yellow beady eyes, but their iridescent colors are more purplish in color, whereas the common grackles is more bluish. Also, the bill size of the Brewer's Blackbird is much smaller than the common grackle. Finally, Brewer's Blackbirds are smaller than common grackles, only about 8 to 10 inches in length. Finally, we have the rusty blackbird, which unfortunately has become increasingly less common in Indiana due to a decline in their species population. They look similar to common grackles, but there are some differences to look out for. The tail shape of the common grackle is rounded, and the tail shape of the rusty blackbird is more square shaped. The common grackle is larger than the rusty blackbird. The rusty blackbird is only 8 to 10 inches in length. Finally, the rusty blackbird will have more of a rusty colored plumage during the winter, which is how they get their name. Thank you for watching the video on number 20, the common grackle, commonly found in St. Joseph and Elkhart counties of Indiana. For more information on other common birds found in this region, please visit sbeaaudubon.org. The sources for this video are listed in the video description.